title, When the Queen's Beauty Potion Goes Awry. Once upon a time in the majestic kingdom of Alderaan, there existed a royal family that had governed the land for centuries. King Edward and Queen Isabella were revered by their people for their wisdom, compassion, and fair rule. However, an unexpected turn of events was about to shake the foundation of the kingdom. It was the day of the grand annual masquerade ball, a dazzling affair where nobles, dignitaries, and citizens alike gathered to celebrate unity and prosperity. The palace was adorned with shimmering lights, and the air was filled with the melodic tunes of musicians. As the night unfolded, the king and queen, both donning splendid masks, greeted their guests with warmth and grace. But amidst the festivities, an eccentric and mischievous sorceress named Morgana, known for her unpredictable spells, concocted a plan to add excitement to the evening. Morgana, hidden behind her own intricate mask, cast an unusual enchantment that aimed to swap the appearances of the king and queen for the night. Unbeknownst to anyone, her mischievous incantation took effect when the clock struck midnight. King Edward suddenly found himself in the queen's regal attire, adorned with jewels and draped in an elegant gown. Meanwhile, Queen Isabella was astonished to discover that she now bore the majestic robes and crown of the king. Confusion and disbelief washed over them as they tried to comprehend the inexplicable transformation. At first, the disguised monarchs attempted to discreetly navigate the situation, believing it to be a temporary twist of fate. However, as the night progressed, the complexity of their predicament became apparent. They realized that the enchantment was more than a simple exchange of appearances, their voices, mannerisms, and even their thoughts seemed to align with their new roles. Despite their initial shock, Edward and Isabella, now inhabiting each other's identities, displayed incredible resilience and adaptability. Isabella, now in the body of the king, seamlessly assumed the responsibilities of ruling the kingdom. She navigated political discussions, addressed the concerns of the court, and offered guidance with an air of confidence that surprised even her closest advisors. Meanwhile, Edward, in the form of the queen, demonstrated an unexpected knack for diplomacy and empathy. He engaged with the people, listened to their grievances, and provided solace and counsel, all while wearing the crown and maintaining the grace and poise of a queen. The kingdom buzzed with speculation and intrigue, unaware of the magical switch that had occurred. Whispers filled the halls, rumors spread like wildfire, and the courtiers debated the sudden change in the monarch's behavior. As days turned into weeks, the disguised king and queen continued to fulfill their roles admirably, gaining newfound respect and admiration from their subjects. Their actions, decisions, and leadership styles left a profound impact on the kingdom, fostering unity and prosperity in ways that surprised even the most seasoned advisors. Meanwhile, Morgana, observing from the shadows, grew both amused and impressed by how the monarchs embraced their altered identities. She contemplated revealing the truth but found herself strangely captivated by the unforeseen consequences of her magic. However, fate had its way of intervening. After a month of living in each other's shoes, the sorceress, realizing the depth of her meddling, decided to lift the spell during another grand celebration. As the clock struck midnight once more, the enchantment dissipated, and the king and queen reverted to their original forms. The sudden change back left Edward and Isabella momentarily bewildered, as if awakening from a dream. They exchanged incredulous glances, now fully aware of the extraordinary experience they had shared. Despite the return to their true selves, the memories and lessons learned during their unexpected role reversal lingered within them. The kingdom, blissfully unaware of the magical mix-up, continued to thrive under the reign of King Edward and Queen Isabella. 
They ruled with a newfound understanding, having gained a deeper appreciation for each other's strengths and perspectives, ensuring Alderaan flourished for generations to come. And as for Morgana, watching from afar, she learned that even the most whimsical enchantments could unravel unforeseen bonds and reveal the strength of character within individuals, leaving her with a newfound respect for the power of the human spirit. Thus, the tale of The Royal Mix-Up, when the queen became the king, remained a cherished secret between the monarchs, forever shaping their rule and the history of their kingdom. Please help.